Captain, on the view screen. It's like a vast Saragasso sea. A graveyard of ships from every civilization imaginable. Where are we, sir? At another place in time, I think. If we check closely, I believe we'll find many of those ships are the ones designated as lost in the Delta Triangle. An alternate universe? Something corresponding to that. The records say every ship lost here vanished without a trace. Most log communication loss and disorientation just before disappearance. My guess was they entered a window to some other continuum. Comment, Spock? Your logic is excellent, Captain. There is a random factor to the ship disappearances. Perhaps the touching of the two time continuums is erratic. In any event, the window stayed open long enough for us to follow the Clothos in. Aye, and where is that tricky devil? I've been scanning for her, but there are so many ships here, it's hard to pick up a specific trace. Stay on it, Mr. Sulu. Aye, sir. There are ships here I've only seen crude drawings of. Pictures and museums. Sensor scans give a rough approximation of the age of the metal in the hulls, Captain. Some of them have been here for centuries. Captain, there's the old Bonaventure. She was the first ship to have warp drive installed. She vanished without a trace on her third voyage. The crew's descendants may still be living, Captain. Their descendants? Yes. I'm picking up life and energy readings from the cluster of ships ahead of us. Scanners indicate the Enterprise shields are totally depleted, sir. Good. All hands to battle stations. Prepare to open fire on the Enterprise immediately. Captain, the Clotho's dead ahead. Sound red alert. Phasers lock on target. Aye, sir. Phasers locked on. Fire! Sir, our weaponry is frozen. Fire! Firing phasers. Report, sir. No response, sir. There's no indication of damage. All instruments register normal. Ah! 